Hi everyone. So today's topic of discussion is how we can use environment variables and uh, cross env that is like a npm package available in our node.js applications. So talking about environment uh, environmental variables what it helps us to achieve is like we can be having multiple environments while developing our applications that is like we can have a development environment or a production environment both the environments would be having uh, different database connection strings so using cross env we can implement the environment specifications so for doing that what i am going to do is like i am going to quickly install cross env so for that i am uh, running command npm install save dev and after then I, am, I will say cross env hitting the enter button will start the installation process for my cross environment package so as I can see that it has added 7 packages from 5 contributors in this many seconds so cross env was very successfully installed so for using cross env what i will do is like previously i have used a chai.tech.js file in one of my demos so i will leave a link for that demo in the same video or you can check it out beneath this so what i will do for uh, showcasing this environment variable is like let's say suppose I want to I'm developing sub application so setting the environment variable would be something like cross e and v and uh, setting node underscore e and v is equal to development so once I have done this what I can do is simply I will go to my test file and I will check for this particular environment variable so for checking what I can use is use this like process dot env dot node underscore env so I am comparing this to development so if it is a development environment so I will simply say let's for takes or uh, take an instance like console.log I am in process dot env dot node environment development environment so if I see in my package.json file I am using mocha to run this test so I am simply if I run the command npm test then I should be able to see the test cases running and since the environment is like development selected over here and I have also checking for development environment so I should be getting that value over there so let me run npm test so as soon as I hit npm test I can see the command that it has started execution so if you see over here what you can see is like it has printed I am in development environment so it has taken the development from 
that particular variable so let's uh, this is let me copy this and paste it over here and let's say I am saying this is production then this command should not execute because I am passing development environment over here so let's again run our command npm test so as it was expected it is showing me development environment let's change this to production and try again so now it is showing me that I'm in production environment so this is how you use environment variables in our node.js application so if you like this video don't forget to share it and subscribe it with your friends thanks for watching the video